Hi, it's Erica again, and today we're doing something fun because it's been beautiful out the last few days. Um, we've been getting our garden area ready, which we're doing something different this year, which we had a lot of brush that I had to burn. We'll finish getting that burnt in the next few days, but it's supposed to rain tonight, so we're gonna get these potatoes into our barrel. We're doing a barrel method for our potatoes this year. So at St. Patrick's Day, on St. Patrick's Day in Kansas, you plant potatoes. I have my little helper today. It's Oakley. And we're gonna get these done while um, Lauren is napping. So I got them cut. We're not, I didn't go and buy them. I had some seed potatoes. They got some eyes on them. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dig a little hole and stick it down in it okay. and bury it. So, and we'll add some extra dirt to this and I'll water it here in a bit. So I'm gonna let Oakley dig the hole. You gotta dig the hole. So it's big enough to put the potato down in it. It's big. And then you cover it. Scout, go lay down. We'll be able to get more dirt and cover it. So I've been pretty MIA lately. Um, we had state basketball, state wrestling, um, just lots of things in our busy life. Um, kids, kids activities, some health issues with one of my children. All of these things have kind of just prevented me from doing a lot of YouTube, um, but we, I think I told you guys about the new puppy this summer. Um, go ahead and keep doing it, honey. Those all have got to be planted. Um, so we got the new puppy. Um, she's out running the yard right now. Um, go ahead and keep, keep going, honey. Um, so we've had health issues. We also just got a cat, another have a cow ordered. Oh, looks like the little one woke up from her nap. That didn't last. Um, but it's been beautiful here in Kansas. What? <sighs> Sorry, the kids weren't expecting the puppy, so they got startled. Um, I had um, them take Lauren back in the house. I'll go get her in a few minutes, but I want to finish this video. So we've got a boat that's going to need a little bit of work. We're going to be working on that. Um, so my husband can start going out into the middle of the lake to fish and get us some fresh fish. Um, we also, like, I don't know if I set, mentioned this, got sidetracked, um, got our half a cow ordered. Um, gonna be paying for that in the next few days and it will be, um, we still have some from the cow from J July, but not much left. Wanted to go ahead and get another one ordered, but we had a little bit of extra money right now. Um, we, our furnace went out on New Year's which I don't know if I mentioned that. So we had to replace it on New Year's Day. Well, we had to use space heaters for a few days until we could get somebody out to look at it. Um, it was the same age as I, it was older than me, our furnace was. So luckily it had been working for this long. Um, I ended up purchasing, and we ended up getting a new higher energy efficient one, which luckily because with prices of everything going up, it kept our it's kept our utility bills down. Um, but because we replaced that, we're gonna go ahead and replace the air conditioner here in the next few weeks. And because of the way our chimney is crumbling, which all of our stuff is heat, um, pushed out through the chimney. Um, so we have to um, replace the chin or replace the hot water heater too, because it needs to be um, pushed out through the new attachment on the front of the house. I don't know all of that stuff. That's just, that's man stuff. No, not man stuff. That's just not in my scope. But we are, so we're on a lot more fixed income right now and we're trying to save as much money as we can with gas prices and everything going up. So everything's been being hung out on the clothesline that we can the last few days. Um, goal is to get some tomato plants into the ground when it warms up. Um, potato plants are going in. Um, lots more budget friendly things that we're gonna have to do save as much money windows will be open a lot longer this year I think than normal as long as the heat lets it go um, I don't know I think we touched base on we had to cut down this big tree this fall oh so that big tree had to be cut down and all of this stuff scout drop it drop it sorry about that the dog got something that she wasn't supposed to have <laughs> um, but no we are trying to save up so we can add on a bathroom and move our laundry out of our kitchen. So we were on a great path for that, but with the cost of everything going up, um, and then 
we got new windows this fall because the girls broke a window in their bedroom. So we figured we might as well replace as many windows as we could at once. And with the furnace and the air conditioner going out, um, we had to, um, that's going to be a major expense. So like I said, we're going to be buckling down and saving, trying to get ourselves out of debt as fast as possible. Yes, we do have credit card debt. We are not totally free and clear of that. Um, it's all been, most of it has all been emergency purchases and things in the past when there's not extra money and you got to buy food, you got to do what you got to do. And, um, you learn from your mistakes and we're working on trying to fix those mistakes now. Um, but some of the stuff, um, is like zero interest or low interest because like our lawnmower this last year, we purchased it and it was really low interest rate. So that's one of the things I don't do a lot of credit cards. We try to avoid that. Um, I do buy stuff on credit cards and then pay it off, but we do have a little bit from medical bills and different things that, um, we got to pay. And we also owe the orthodontist for braces for Eva. And we're going to have two more that are going to be going to the orthodontist soon. So, you know, all of those things add up quickly and our debts that you've got. We do not, we do not own our house outright and, but we are getting close to the end of that. And so, you know, it is what it is and life has not dealt us always the greatest hands. And like I said, we have nine kids and we're not perfect. And we made some mistakes early on and I'm now fixing some of those mistakes and some of those weren't mistakes. Some of those were necessities and, but we did pay off every promotional period, the promotional thing we had on our Lowe's card. So those have all been paid off and we are now doing some, we've done some low spend months, eating out of our freezer, eating out of, um, eating out of our pantry and gradually restocking stuff when it's, um, getting scout nope tell her no. no no um stocking um when they're on clearance and on sale um so you know hopefully i'll be able to do girl scout cookies are coming to an end I haven't been able to do many um food um videos because no I haven't been able to do many food videos because um my kitchen's full of girl scout cookies and that takes up everything. But yeah, so we are going to be buckling down like I think a lot of you are. Okay, buckling down like a lot of people are and having to be a little bit cheaper on things than normal. So I'm hoping that I can start posting videos again um, once a week, maybe twice a week. Um, once a week at least, that's my goal. Um, but so, you know, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already and let's try to um like I said this year's been a little bit of interesting we've had a lot of medical bills my daughter rolled her ankle um or bad ankle injury during wrestling took her out for almost a month and then um we've um she's now having some other issues that I'm not going to disclose on here and so we're just kind of playing it by ear and seeing how it goes. And um, she was diagnosed with migraines, so that's playing a part into it. But we got a few other specialists that we got to go to to see what's going on. So, like I said, um, life has been crazy. And I'm hoping that I can get back to this and start sharing our journey on getting us out of debt. Um, so far, in the last few weeks, I have paid off... $2,000 worth of promotional periods, um, lots of medical bills, and I will continue doing that. Oakley finished planting the potatoes. So we also are going to be doing a lot more home cooking. Um, I think I'm going to be showing some videos of making bone broth. Hey, and, um, doing a few other things. So, um, I'm going to go, we've got a lot of busy things to do. Um, I'm pretty active in the library again. And so 
Okay. Hope Bye, you guys. have a great day. Yeah, you can go back in the house. Okay. Um, have a blessed day and um, just keep praying that everything's going to be good. And that's what I keep saying is the more I pray, the better things get for us. So you guys have a wonderful scout. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you around. Bye.